Hi, how are you doing? Everybody? Welcome to Russell Heritage Golf. Beautiful day here at Four Ashes Golf Centre, and we're talking about how to whip the club through the ball. Sometimes people lose this feeling. And I think the other thing that's interesting when I meet people is that they kind of lose a little bit of sight as to what they're doing. And you just kind of end up making these sort of swing changes for the sake of it. And today, you know, and with a lot of the lessons that I do, I'm generally trying to redirect people to having a sense of intent and purpose. And distance is a good one to try and find. So how do you get more distance? Well, I talked about it recently. It's cocking and uncocking, right? So this is where all our club head speed is kept, right? What you want to do is make sure that as you, you cock it in the backswing position, you don't want to necessarily immediately uncock the club because this will have an adverse effect on generating speed. So this would be a slower route back to the ball. What we need to do is make sure that as we come down, we're trying to get the feeling of the hands massively being directed, should we say in front of the ball, whilst trying to get the feeling of holding on to this relationship. And then that's when you're gonna get that whip. Now a simple drill, and hopefully you can pick it up. It's a little bit breezy, but I'm sure you can pick this up on the mic. If I swing back and cock, and then immediately uncock, you can hear that sort of swooshing sound occurring to the right of me. If I then drive my hands forward and then uncock, the swooshing sound would occur much more to the left of me. And the drill for this really is very much like we've done in some of the recent videos. But I just wanted to create this one just to kind of really make sure that you guys understood what it is that I'm trying to suggest by getting this feeling of swinging back getting the hands to move over the ball. So if I kind of stand facing on you guys, so it's very much this way as a feel for as long as you can. Now the club will naturally uncock. There's not much you can do about that. It's basically just a reactional state. So basically as soon as the club shaft in the golf swing starts to go past the vertical position, the club is always gonna to wanna to go in a straight line. So you can't stop it, but what you can do to speed it up is you can change your hand path. So basically, the more that you direct your hands to the ball, shall we say, or ahead of the ball, the faster that you're going to potentially be, the wider that you go with the hands, the slower you're going to be, right? So that's basically where we need to be at, is the feeling of getting the hands ahead of the ball, and then what you'll start to do as you do these sort of drills, and only if you first of all rehearse this one, direct it, whip it direct it, whip it. And what I mean by whip it is just direct it and let it go, right? Swing quick. It's something that's gonna happen very naturally. Too many golfers I kind of see that are practicing, trying to work on their impact, looking at all the sort of positions, rehearsing these sort of positions. Do you know what I mean? It's got, you're gonna have no energy from there. And the problem is, is that if you're rehearsing something which has no energy, you're going to inevitably get unwanted or involuntary reactions. So if you're not hitting it hard enough in your rehearsal swing and your brain doesn't know how to, and then you're wondering why you always start the downswing in some sort of adverse move, it's because you've got to understand how to direct the energy. So if you just keep doing slow practice swings all of the time, your brain is always going to therefore have to react with some sort of involuntary force to generate enough power. That's basically what your brain's doing. It's like, well, you want to hit the ball 150 yards with a seven iron, but we're rehearsing at 50 yards. It's like, I'm going to have to do something for you. And the only thing I know is, is x or y whatever it might be so whipping the club through you know get the hands get the hands leading and then what you can really do is just start to feel like almost like you're cracking that whip analogy and start to whip your hands through and you know what's going to happen because it's happened to you before like the most common thing is that you know people say oh yeah when i was trying to lay up i'm just going to hit a little club you do like a short swing you direct your hand path bosh, the ball goes further than you can normally hit it in a full swing. So then eventually what you can do is, is start to do a full swing with more leverage and then really whipping it through. But I'm sure you get the idea. Wind's picking up, so I'm going to shelter the mic a little bit. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Always appreciate one of those. Remember, it's absolutely free to subscribe. So press that, press the little bell icon means you receive notifications. Get your hands over the ball. It will feel like you're going to miss it but you'll probably surprise yourself and hit it really well. If you start to, you know, miss it off towards the right-hand side, then you just need to work on that club face and whipping it through. But just have a go and see what happens. You'll be pleased. Speak to you soon.